A sincere thank you for everyone who's joined us today to celebrate our launch of the Cervical Cancer Free America Initiative. We are here because we believe that collectively, we can do more to reduce cervical cancer in the United States. We can work together to end cervical cancer in our lifetime. Undoubtedly, we are here because we believe that collectively, we can do more to reduce unnecessary death. And I want to thank you for daring to dream. You have offered this vision that is inspiring an entire country. You have made prevention come alive. Uh, you have given us hope for a better system of care and treatment in the future. On May 5th, Cervical Cancer Free America hosted its organization's launch meeting at the National Press Club in Washington, D.C. The purpose of this meeting was to discuss existing challenges related to the prevention of cervical cancer, including public funding for national programs, access to most need populations, and the impact of the Affordable Care Act. To provide insight into these challenges, the event hosted renowned experts from a variety of related fields. Why cervical cancer? Why don't we try to eradicate breast cancer or prostate cancer? We actually have the technologies and the tools to come close to eradicating cervical cancer in this country. Immunization is a highly effective approach to prevention and now can contribute to the prevention of cervical cancer with the availability of two licensed vaccines that are now recommended for routine use in preteen girls. I think it's likely to take a lot of hard work by a lot of people at multiple levels to eradicate cervical cancer in America. But I also think this is an eminently worthy and achievable goal. So reducing the cancer rate in screened women is going to require better colposcopy triage the PAP negative HP positive folks, and it's going to require improving screening participation. The event provided a great chance to network, dialogue and panel discussions, and most of all, motivate and inspire for the cause. And I remember that feeling the first time I shared my story and how empowered I felt. And I remember feeling that I'm going to share my story until I can no longer share my story again. My cry to you is, let's go to war against cervical cancer. We can beat it. We can win. Let us stand up for American women and make this a cervical cancer-free America. God bless you. The day ended with remarks from CCFA's panel of six partner states, Alabama, California, Kentucky, Indiana, North Carolina, and Texas. To see more videos from this event as they become available, be sure to subscribe to youtube.com slash wordoncancer. And to learn more about CCFA, visit cervicalcancerfreeamerica.org.